We are here at Lightbox at the Wacom booth. This is 24 Hours Animation Contest for Students 2022. I, I am here with the one and only Jim Schlanker, longtime Disney layout, background painter, art director. Um, I've also worked with Jim uh, in our early days of teaching at Laguna College of Art and Design and then at Chapman University. Jim Schlanker, good to see you. Oh, it's great to see you too. Now, just tell the groups what got you in the business in the first place? Well, you know, I was trained as an illustrator and I think I fell into it mostly. I had a friend who was art directing a film. As soon as I graduated, she asked me to come on and start background painting. And from there, it just made so much sense as a trained as an illustrator to go into background and back, then eventually background layout uh, just to get my drawing and painting skills up. And then I fell in love with the industry. I started working at Disney back in the late 80s and kind of stayed around for like 25 years. It's incredible. And I know you've had your share of deadlines. So can you think of a few things that you do to get yourself either in the zone or get you to know that you got to get to the finish line under extreme stress? Well, I think probably the most important thing is to realize how important deadlines are in our business. I mean, if you always make them and you learn really quickly that you have to hit deadlines. So I think it's just knowing how that's so important. I mean, I, I always say that 50% or more of the job, probably more, is hitting deadlines and just being a nice person to, that people want to work with. Then all the other stuff helps. Uh, but that is such an important part of the business. No one cares how good you are if you can't hit a deadline. And also what I like about deadlines, and after, you know, you almost have an internal clock. You start learning how to use that, and it puts limitations on you so you have to think quickly and make choices. You're not endlessly what ifs, what ifs. A deadline really helps put that a box around, limit your decisions, and be just clear and straightforward of how to execute things to the best of your ability and that makes sense within that given time. So yeah, it's pretty valuable. That's a great point about the limitations. I know Charles and Ray Eames would talk a lot about forcing limitations on themselves in order to get to the you know, solution to solve the problem. So these students, they've been competing since 4 p.m. yesterday. They're on their last, you know, 12th hour here. Any advice to help them get to the finish line? Well, you know, I think that that's just that you don't second guess. You just keep going. You know where you wanted to go, and you just push through. I mean, basically, it's that time. I, I, it's interesting to talk to people after this. They always say, oh, it's so hard, but I loved every second of it. You know, it's this big highlight. And that's part of the work. You know, it's like you do oftentimes in the professional world, you have these tight deadlines, you have to really work hard, struggle, things fall apart, you fix them, and you get through it. And those are the people who are your friends your whole career. So uh, it's that battle that makes it worthwhile. I think that's partly what they pay you for, is not when things go smoothly, when things kind of go askew, and you still have to hit those, those timelines. So, yeah, it's so these teams, are basically, uh, they're learning big lessons right now and you're telling them, don't worry, even if it's going bad, you'll stick together. You've got this, folks, just a few more hours left. Absolutely. Go to the end.